Hi! Today we are going to do our uh, October wrap up. October, yes indeed. And we're also going to go into November a little bit because yeah. uh, we were super late getting together to film our yeah. wrap up this month. Yeah, so speaking of that, we haven't filmed in the past two weekends. Mm -hmm. So there's been a couple weeks of no videos. And that is largely due to me. Uh, as many of you know, I did start a job and it's just been really hard uh, on my schedule to mm -hmm. get my act together and to fit everything sure, in. Sure, and you have a lot to do on the weekends. So Yeah, we have had a lot to do on the weekends. And I've been working uh, every other weekend, basically. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I, sh I was supposed to work today, but then we didn't have to, which is nice. So since I started work two months ago, this is the first every other weekend I've not had to work. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so anyway, it's just been a hard adjustment. I don't want to say that, like, oh, we'll film every week from now on. You know, I, we don't like to put pressure on our channel well, yeah. either. We're a for fun kind of Yeah, channel. so, uh, sorry. <laughs> you guys haven't seen a video. But, you know, life happens and we're adults. We have children and families and things that happen. And Jessica's also been doing a lot of photo shoots as well. Yeah. yeah. October was uh, busy. I had a thing every weekend. Yeah. yeah. So. So. I also, I have some October vlog footage I'll put together. Sometime. Maybe. Sometime. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's talk about the things we have read yeah. recently. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of Tomes. Tomes. And it made me think of Rhett and Link. They're talking like, I hate when people apologize for taking a break. You know? And I don't want to. Okay. But I feel bad. We could have the discussion real quick. It doesn't matter. Alright. Okay, let's... No, 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 it's fine. Okay. I do think that'd be a cool discussion topic at some point, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did you? Yeah. Especially with us, because we have taken breaks before and, yeah. you know, not filmed and things like that. Mm -hmm. That would be But cool. then we get back on the horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I don't think we, we go for so long that we lose people or whatever. I don't think so either. I don't think it really impacts us. But yeah. also because we are a smaller channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But I think we also have, like, a good fan base. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we make friends with the people that watch yeah. us or we yeah. try to. Yeah, I think so. And uh, we set our, our intention is, you know, this is for fun and it's not like our job. Yeah, and I really like getting to know other people as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are we just going to talk about it now? And I, I will say, there are some regular people that comment on our videos who don't have channels. And yeah. And so we, we don't have the opportunity to go back and... Um, give back to them. Give back to them, but like, we see you... And I really do appreciate those people as well. And I do too. They're very sweet. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've never had, a, like, a mean or negative comment. We have not. I can't... I, I remember the first time we got a dislike on the video, and you were yeah. so upset. You were like... Oh, I wasn't oh. upset, actually. I'm you were like, we got a dislike. What was it? Oh, it was when we, we were talking bad about a book. We were talking bad about a YA book. I think that makes yeah. a difference, too. Yeah. Is because, yeah. you know, young adults will be looking for reviews for yeah. those young adults. What books. was it? Was it Dreams of Gods and Monsters? It was the last book in the, um... That series. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember it either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think... I don't know if we've gotten another dislike or not, but... Yeah, I, I feel like we have very nice people. Yeah. That was Generally, us. yeah. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, guys. Nice people. Thank all of you. Thank you for not leaving mean comments. Yeah. It would make me feel bad. And you guys are very supportive, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. If, if this community wasn't supportive, I, uh, you know, with my half-working face, I might not yeah. come out here. And yeah. Well, and I've noticed there's, there's uh, somebody had commented on one of our last videos and was like, I can tell that you have more movement. Mm. And I thought that was great. I thought that was very nice. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. My, my eyebrows really... Up and downy. I can tell the difference, yeah. And uh, my face just, yeah, a little bit. Um, I can move it, so it's like slowly getting. But I can't. I still can't smile, and I still can't squint. Yeah. And, and over the other things, <laughs> so it's okay though. It's getting there. It helps having supportive people. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's talk about what we read. Uh, I. You first. Okay. The first book I finished. 
Uh, most of my books were audiobooks, so I'll just picture or you will somebody. Mine too, yeah. Uh, so I finished Kindred by Octavia E. Butler, and I gave it four stars. I really, really liked it. I really liked it too. Yeah, and it was... Uh, <laughs> okay, I listened to this at work, and we have to listen to Bluetooth speakers. We can't have headphones. And I did not realize the first time the N-word dropped, I was like, <laughs> covering it up, you know? Uh, but yeah, it was it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know what else to say about it because it was like at the beginning of the yeah, month when I finished it. The things we're talking about right now, we finished like a month and a half ago. Yeah, so, so I... I also went through a lot of audiobooks quickly, and uh, yeah. when I listen to books as opposed to reading them physically, I don't take in and keep it oh, yeah. with me as much, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, but, yeah. Um, I feel that way anytime I read a book, like, super fast, like, yeah. all at once, you know? Yeah. Fortunately, I think I have the ability to retain audiobooks yeah. as well as I do. I, I don't. Books. I feel like I have a pretty bad memory, actually, and... Mm. Especially at the beginning of October, I went through a kick of where oh, I can listen to audiobooks at work, and I was like, boom, 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 going yeah. through them. Because eight hours yeah. all day, mm -hmm. I do the same thing over and over, uh, so, you know, to have something to listen to. I've been doing a lot of podcasts lately, yeah. which is really cool. Anyway. Okay, Pushing Ice by Alistair Reynolds. I talked about this a lot in our last wrap-up, mm -hmm. um, but I finished it right at the beginning of October, and man is it so good. It was so good, and it's long and episodic and takes place over a long period of time, which I really enjoy. Um, the narrator... Um, was excellent. John Lee, who also did Pillars of the Earth, uh, which is basically why I got the book, because I like listening to him so much. I basically listened to him for over a hundred hours now. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> all of those books have been really long. Yeah. Um, this one was no exception. But also, I found that even though it was set in space on a spaceship, um, it felt a lot like pillars hmm. of the earth. There are a lot of correlations that I made between the two, and I think if you are a fan of Ken Pollitt's um, Kingsbridge series that you would very much enjoy this book about uh, a space crew. Um, they like mine comments, Earth radios them, and says that Janus, one of, I think it's Saturn's moons, yes, mm -hmm. um, has gone out of orbit and it never was a planet in the first place. And so they're going to go catch up to it because they're the closest spaceship to it. It never was a moon in the first place. That's what I meant. Yes, yes. indeed. You it was it. never a moon in the first place. Yeah. Um, so they got to go check it out. really interesting. I tried to start the audio, but I'm very picky with narrators, and he is not for me, unfortunately. Which so. sucks because he narrates a lot of great books. I know. And I do enjoy listening to him. So. I don't know what it is, but just the... Older male voices, I can't. I female voices for some reason are my, boom, my favorite. Uh huh. I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So I, I go both ways. Yeah. <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay, uh, you actually read this one as well. Oh, I did. Yes. So Ooh. we both. Oh, this did is you good. listen to it? I did. Yeah, we both listened to the Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. Oh, um, McMahon. McMahon. That's how she says it. Uh, the Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. Creepy. Dude, uh, I feel like that is finally the book yeah. that I've been searching for, mm. for that creepy October read. And, yeah. I mean, ooh, was it good. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It was really good. We were very close to doing a uh, review and discussion on it because we, we really enjoyed it so much. Oh, yeah. We just couldn't get together on it, I guess. Yeah, and then also, I, I've been thinking, like, I would reread that. Oh, yeah. hundred percent. I would reread this. Mm -hmm. So, should we say what it's about? Yeah. Uh, well, yes. Okay. Um, it follows two storylines. Mm, yeah. One in the um, early 1900s and mm -hmm. then one that's present day. Yeah. And um, both timelines happen in the same house. And in the a long time ago, um, bad, creepy, not good things are happening. And then in the present timeline, the kids in the house... Um, have to figure out why their mother has disappeared. Yeah. And um, they slowly uncover clues as to what happened in the house a long time ago. Yeah. And, uh... And I will Ooh, say, I there chills. was, like, a touch, just a touch of a little bit of gore yeah, in yeah. it. Uh -huh. But it was nothing that was, like, 
overdone or drawn out. You know, right. it was just stating that, like... Yeah, this had happened. So, I, I will say that if you... But, I mean, like, again, that was, like, once that I sure. can think of once or twice. Mm. But, yeah. It did, it kept me, um, like, I, I wanted to listen to it all the time. Yeah, I did, too. And I started listening to it with my husband a little bit. And, um, we were just, like, laying in bed under the covers, like, with our eyes huge. And, uh, it was just a really, really good read. Yeah, I gave it 4.5 stars. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think, uh, for me, there were some parts of it that I was, like, meh. Or, like, oh, that, that was kind of predictable, mm -hmm. but it was not... Yeah, like, like, it wasn't perfect, but it was really uh, good. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Um, it was, like, the perfect creepy... Yes. It, it I was so happy with that. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Made me feel Halloween-y. Uh, what did you give it? Um, 4.5 or nice. 4. So, about that. Okay. Ooh. So, you are currently reading this. Mm -hmm. Um, I finished an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green... Um, I really enjoyed the narrator. Hank makes an appearance as a narrator in the I, book. I started it this morning, and I heard his name mentioned as a narrator, and I was yeah. like, oh, mm -hmm. so I'm excited about that. I think reading a book written by someone that you have watched and feel like you know mm -hmm. um, and listened to on their podcast, um, it's a very singular experience and similar to the one I had when I read Turtles All the Way Down because I felt like John had put so much of himself yeah. into that book and so has Hank and he talks about a lot of things that he talks about um in real life and um goes over concerns that he has and I just I felt like I felt I could hear Hank's voice in it so right. much and it was such a great um experience uh for that reason, but also, it was a really good book. Um, I couldn't put it down because I wanted to know what happened, and at the end of the book, I was like, I need the next one right now. And, oh. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, no. no. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Um, and I think he said that he was he's going to make this a duology, so oh, cool. I okay. feel like the next okay. book that comes out will complete the series. I, I started it this morning, and, uh, yeah, I agree with you. I do really like the narrator. Again, because it's a female, and sure. I'm, you know, digging it. Uh, but I am really intrigued. I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm only, like, maybe an hour into it, so I'm not very sorry. Let's talk about what it's about real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, what's her name? The main April? character? April May, that's right. Mm -hmm. Um, she is an art design student, and she comes upon this giant, what she thinks is an art s statue. Mm -hmm. In New York City. In New York City. And very quickly they learn that um, it's not an art statue. Um, there's one of these in every city of the world overnight. Not every city. Every uh, major quite, city Yeah, in quite the a world. few. Yeah. So uh, everyone's freaked out. And she becomes sort of the, um, the face of these giant things. Yes, because she becomes very, uh, public. She makes, like, a YouTube video with her friend, mm -hmm. and then it's, it goes viral, and... Um, the story is a, a catalyst for, um, for a... I don't know if I said that correctly, but, um, it takes a, a hard look at social media mm. and the roles, um, that fame can play in your life when you weren't famous before. It's, like, this new, uh, explores this new, um media of fame where people yeah. can just become famous through social media. Viral sensations and yeah. Yes. Which uh, I think is great because obviously Hank and John they don't want have... to stay on the topic. Yeah, and I mean they obviously they can because look at their that's how they kind of came up was YouTube as yeah, well. Right. So um and uh, technology plays a major part in this story um, which is not something that you get from every book. Yeah. Um and you, and they do it so well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, would recommend. I really liked cool. it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. Good. Okay, so then I read mm. Record of a Space Born Few by Becky Chambers, and that's the third in the... Wayfair? Wayfair series. Mm -hmm. We did a review and discussion on it. Uh, we'll put those down below. Yes, um, indeed. One for if you want a spoiler-free review, and then one if you want to talk about all the things that happened within it. Yes, and I gave it four stars. I would say if you've read the first two and you enjoyed it, definitely read this one. But this one follows humans on their space station and, oh, yeah. uh, you know, 
um, the stories just of what's humans, going on with them. Uh, mm-hmm. Generations after they've left Earth and how they're doing now and how they yeah. were accepted by um, the Galactic Commons. Thank and, you. Uh, I was gonna say all the aliens, but you yeah, know. Yeah, same, yeah, same thing. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I it liked was, it. It was a really good story. Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. So I did left a couple of books. Um. The first one I'll talk about is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Dude, I just couldn't get into it. I just said, dude. <laughs> That's funny. That's a Christina That's word. That's dope. That's a Jessica word. Yeah. <laughs> we started rubbing off on each other. I catch myself saying dope a lot, mm. and I never said that until yeah, yeah. hanging out with you. And uh, I used to not say dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when I ever say dude anymore, though. I call you boo a lot. Is that a thing that you started or I started? No, you started, because oh. I never say boo, but now when I'm talking to you, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, boo. <laughs> and, like, I do that now, too. <laughs> We're becoming the same person. <laughs> no, that's cool. I think that's, a, like, just a natural... Yeah. yeah. Something that happens. Well, I mean, like, when uh, I got with my husband, he would always text with, like, exclamation points all the time mm -hmm. at the end of everything. Yeah. Oh, is you want this for dinner? <laughs> yeah! Exclamation point. And now I do that oh, okay. all the time. Oh, yeah, you do. I thought I, it was just because yeah. you were really cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> no! I never was until I got with my husband. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. What were we talking about? Northanger Abbey. Sorry. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah. I didn't enjoy it. Um, I wanted oh, to... Oh, that's a bummer. Mm -hmm. It's about this sweet young woman in the whatever century. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and she you know, goes, she, goes, um, she goes to town for the first time, a.k.a. Uh, Bath or London. Is that the same place? Kind of. Ooh. I think they're close by. I don't know. Bath is a weird name for Whoops. a town. <laughs> bath. Oh man, I want to edit that out, but I won't. Okay, y'all just <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to bath? Here's my ignorance. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, she's very impressionable. She likes to read. Oh, cool. Sure. Oh uh, no, <laughs> I forgot you DNF'd it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it sounds like it would be a good book. It really right. does. Um, but I just I don't know. It was her first novel, uh, and yeah, and it's good. It's just um. I don't know. I read Pride and Prejudice first, and it was five stars. Yeah. And and then I go to this one, and I was just like, did yeah. not care about anybody. Yeah. And I also thought it would be like a good October read because she goes to this mansion, um, and she's been reading all these gothic novels, and she's seeing um, plots and um, Ghosts? evil deeds, I guess, where she shouldn't. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it's revealed that, you know, I got really close to the end, mm -hmm. and then I just looked up what happened. Oh, I've done that with a book this month as well. Uh, yeah, and we'll yeah. talk about that one next, actually. Yes. Uh, or uh, after another one. Okay. Moving on. Okay, so then I listened to The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Mm. I haven't heard of his name. How did you feel about that? Uh, I gave it... Four stars? I think I gave it 3.5. Mm. I felt like some of it was kind of predictable. And this this is one specifically that, to be honest, I kind of like didn't pay attention to all of it like I should have. Mm. But I also did consider Dean Effinite while reading it. Oh. But, I mean, it was good and there was like cool stuff about it. But it's not anything that I was like crazy about. What's about? So... There's these things called Diabolics, who are, like, humanoid robots who people bought up to protect their daughters, like, rich people and governors or whatever. And this takes place in space kind of deal. And then they were ordered to do away with Diabolics because they were killing everybody who was a threat to these people that they're, you know, supposed to protect. Uh, but they... The iRobot situation? Yeah, and then they, um, you know, didn't... The main character didn't kill theirs, and uh, oh. it just turned. She starts impersonating her person she's supposed to protect, and then it kind of spirals into this political thing. Um, but mm. it sounds like a good premise. It sounds yeah. like I Robot. Well, and I really wanted to read it. Um, our friend Megan over at Brush, ooh, over at Tome Infinity, <laughs> uh, she she owned it, and I was gonna borrow it from her. Uh, a while back, and then it recently popped in my head, and I was like, Overdrive! And, uh, yeah, I, I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I read it physically. And, you know, didn't listen to it at work while I kind of half paid attention, because 
Some of it was a little cheesy and predictable, but um, it wasn't bad. Okay. So you're not going to continue on? It doesn't sound I don't like... think so. Okay. Okay. Christine and I both DNF the night film by Marisha Pessel. We did. Whoops. You got so much further than I did. Okay, look, it's still, my bookmark is still in there. I was super close to the end, which technically I just now DNF'd it, and it's the beginning of November, but we're going to talk about it because Jessica DNF'd it in October. I did. Um, I was on, I had just come off the heels of DNFing Northanger Abbey, and I was taking so long to read this. It took forever to get for me to get to page 50. I just needed something that was going to grab me right away. Yeah. I liked the story. The story was fine. Yeah. Um, and it sounded kind of interesting, but I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I, I as well, kind of at the beginning, I was like on the fence about it. And then I, this book makes me think of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. When I thought about DNFing it early on, mm -hmm. and then you did, and I didn't, and I finished it, and I regretted it. And it's not that this is bad. There were aspects of it that I thought was really interesting, and there were twists and turns, and it was really cool. But I've literally, literally been reading it for a month because of work and, like, et cetera, et cetera. But and it's I've, not something you want to pick up, really. No, I've... I've been like having to force myself to read it and I haven't, I don't remember the last time I actually read it because I just haven't wanted to pick it back up. Yeah. So I'm going to DNF it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was intrigued. There was some, I think if I could have like read it quicker, I would have been like pretty into it. Sure. I, I think it would have been like a 3.5 or 4 star book because like wow. there's some really cool things Yeah. and like some spooky things, mm. but I'm like, <sighs> I want to move on to something else. I've been reading it for a month. Uh, I'm kind of over it now. Yeah, so. I don't think... I think we've decided to not pick it up again. I don't think I'm going to. I'm, I mean, I made it through, like, most of it. And, like, I kind of want to know the ending. But also, like, the same theme kept popping up as far as, like, the movie director is creepy. No one knows him anymore. And I kind of got really tired of that mm -hmm. as so, well. So, uh, a movie director's daughter uh, dies... Mm -hmm. Um, mysteriously? Yeah, it's ruled a suicide, but, like, people don't think it was. And then there's this, uh, journalist who's down on his luck, and, uh, he is, wants to investigate, and he thinks that this is gonna be his big break, because he doesn't think it's a suicide. Yeah. Um. And the movie director guy has, like, not been seen in public in, like, 20 years, like and, like, He's a hermit, and, and his movies are so awful that they're poor, um, banned, they're banned, basically, yeah, yeah, and you have to, like, illegally download them or whatever. And so, like, there's a lot of creepy things around his life and his daughter's life that people are trying to figure out, because it's very mysterious, and that's cool, but yeah. I don't know, it just got a little old for me, also probably because, again, I've been reading this for a month, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna move on. And, uh... Well, when you look up what happens... Yeah, I'm probably going to just Google how it ends. Um, tell me about it. I will. Okay. Over. I really wanted to like it, because so many people do. I read our book club book pick for October. Jessica DNF'd it. Oh, yes, that one. Which, the Wicked Deep. Yes, by... by Shay Earnshaw. Shay... Shay Shaw. <laughs> Shay Shaw! Uh, so I gave it two stars. Uh, I thought about DNFing it, and then there was a twist, and I stuck it out... And I was like, no. <laughs> I It just wasn't for me. It was... Oh, oh, I hate to say this. I don't know how to word this better. I know. It was a little too YA for me. Yes. There's lots of YA that we do enjoy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But sometimes it feels like they just kind of... It's like cranked out a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. here's what the young adult genre people like. And uh, this was kind of that for yeah. me. So, tell them what it's about. Okay, so, in this town that this is set in, I don't remember the name of it, it is, um, every year, during the summer, there are three sisters who were believed to be witches in a previous life, uh, and they were all hanged. And so, every summer, they possess the bodies of three girls, and they choose to drown boys in the sea. I thought they, they weren't drowned, the witches? They were hanged? Oh, were they drowned? I don't know. Ooh, actually, I think they were drowned. Yes, okay. yes, they were. They sense. were drowned. Okay. Uh, so 
then you kind of follow one of the girls in the town um, and you know every summer they try and you know stop the boys from getting killed and I mean we're talking like high schoolers the premise sounded really really cool but it just didn't quite get there for me mm. you know right no. uh, me neither yeah yeah I was just um it was just okay and yeah. so that's why I decided to I'm, right now, I'm at a place where if the book I'm reading is, I'm, like, not loving it, yeah, I don't want to read it. I'm really feeling that passionately right now. I just, I just need to, I just need for my sanity yeah. to only read really good books. Okay, here we go. One of my new favorite books of all time, Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews, was heartbreaking and beautiful, and I loved it. And it just took me there immediately into the story. Uh, last night, I tried to watch the movie. Ooh. We, we mm. turned it off because it turned out to be like a Lifetime movie. Um. And I thought it was going to be good because so many like super famous people are in it. Mm. And we're, we're watching The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Ooh, I started that too and it is oh, really did? good. I yeah, really yeah. like it. Oh, we yeah. do too. And um, the Sabrina in that in that movie was in um, Flowers oh, in the Attic, cool. the Lifetime movie, um, which had a terrible script, and it was yeah. poorly done, mm. and I didn't nice. want to ruin one of my favorite books by yeah. watching yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the premise of the story is that there are kids um, who their dad tragically passes away, and unfortunately they can't keep the house or anything in it, and so um, the mother decides to move to her parents' house who were um, abusive, um, fanatically religious people who basically kicked her out. But they're super, super rich, and her, da her dad is on his deathbed, and she thinks if she can win over his affections, she can get back in the will, and then he'll die soon, and then she'll inherit all that money, but she's got to keep her children a secret in order to do that. Oh. So they lock their children, her children, away in the attic, um, and it just gets longer and longer, mm. and Grandpa keeps living. Yeah. Um, excellent, beautiful, wonderful book. And I, I finished the last page, and I immediately wanted to read the second one, um, which I'm going to do as soon as I can. I still have the, um, our book club book to read this month, so I'm going to do that first. Yes, and... I, the last book I finished in October was World War Z. I listened to it on audio by Max Brooks. Yeah, I gave it three stars and I really enjoyed it. And I'm surprised you read it because you're not really one for zombie stories. I am not. And when it started, I was super into it. And then, like, the more it carried on, I lost my interest in it. Mm -hmm. Because it did start to get more, you know, zombie-esque. And I don't know, I'm just really not... Super zombie fan? Yeah. I'm no. really... I read that... Uh, and not, not TV shows or books either. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, I am I am not that way. I do enjoy a good zombie story, um, and I read that a few years ago and really really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, I think if I would have read it physically, I would have liked it more. Hmm. Uh, but I was just thinking that it would be a great book to listen to. You said it had it was an interview style and it had a full cast, which yeah. was really really cool because he also went around the world to different countries and everyone did a great accent in my opinion. Hmm. Uh, so I really did enjoy that, but I will say like I was just listening to it and working and all of a sudden it was like this has been a production i was like <laughs> oh it just ended you know uh which i i, I kind of appreciate it just like leaves it there but i, I, I stopped with brad pitt and i looked at the clock and i was like that's it <laughs> i i had to like uh no no i know it's completely different yeah brad pitt i thought it was tom cruise no it's brad pitt oh see i don't even know but, uh... He is a good, is a good movie. movie. I thought World War Z, the movie, was about, like, aliens invading. No. Oh. What am I thinking of with Tom Cruise? Like, Oh, aliens. World of the Worlds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. Oh, I haven't seen that either. That was Tom Cruise. Right? Maybe I'll look up the preview for World War Z, then. Does it have zombies in it? World War Z? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh. They're fast-moving zombies, too. Really? Yeah, yeah. Cool. They're the running kind. Oh, they did talk about terrifying. that in the book, too, a little bit as well. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if I really like interview-style audio because it's I a do whole too. cast. Yeah, yeah. And I always really enjoy it. Why so. do you think you'd like it if you read it better? I don't know. Okay. 
Well, I just, uh, when I read books physically, I feel like I think about it more, you know? Sure. I have a hard time of, like, just listening to things just to listen to them, and mm -hmm. I don't give as much thought as I do when I physically read a book. Got it. And so I think, you know, it would cause me to... Maybe I would like it less, because I'm not really into zombies. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I think listening yeah. to it sounds great. Yeah, I did really like the interview format. I mean, as soon as it kicked off... Oh, and when it... I let Jessica listen to the beginning, because it was like really kind of creepy it was good yeah 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 i like that cool. so yeah uh that's all i physically or not physically but that's all i finished in october uh me too and actually technically i finished flowers in the attic in november so i'll quickly mention that in our november wrap up yeah um we could talk about currently reading are you currently sure. reading something uh no only i'm listening to oh yeah you started an in incredible uh, an absolutely remarkable thing by hank green you just started? Yep. Today? Yes, I did. Okay. Yep. And you're enjoying the narrator, you said. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. cool. I'm glad you're reading that. I hope you like it. Yeah, me too. I started The Inconvenient Indian by Thomas King, and I am not super into it, and I don't Ooh. know why, because um, I'm fascinated by Native American culture. It's also part of your Read Harder challenge, isn't it? It is. I don't know why I don't like it, but... Um, Are you going to DNF it? I think so. Yeah. It's just because I've not been listening to it Again, the past few days. You said for your yeah, health, you need right. to just. I need to know. just read books right now that yeah. are really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, or that I'm really into. Right. Uh, and I have put in a few hours into the audiobook. Um, and the narrator's good. And I just, I don't know. Um, I feel like that's a good amount of time. Especially for audiobook to put in a few hours and go, mm, maybe, maybe not for me right now, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so, uh, and it's about, um, you know, all the wrongs that were done to the Native Americans um, by um, white people yeah. for centuries and, um, and currently. <clears throat> I wanted to learn more about um, maybe individual tribes um, and what their lives are like now and stuff yeah um it's not it's not really there and maybe that he goes into that more later on in the book and stuff um and it seems to be very thorough but i don't know i just i can't do it right it's now. not right for me yet. yeah right now i get it so um our book club book for november is ray bradbury's uh fahrenheit 451 there's a movie out on hbo yeah so yeah. i think that's kind of why we wanted to pick it up now it's under 200 pages um, It'd be a nice short book. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a uh, a reimagined future where all books are banned and the firefighters don't put out fires, but they start them. And I think this was also a banned book itself at one point. Yeah, yeah. I'm this book sure has was, ironically yeah. been yeah. banned before. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading it. I have read the first four pages. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed those four pages. Good. So I'm looking forward to um, reading this. I'm going to start it soon, and uh, I read it in high school, and I remember really enjoying it in high school, but I don't specifically remember anything about it, so I'm excited to reread it as an adult, you know? Me too, yeah. I can already tell. I started this book in high school and yeah. then put it down. It wasn't the right time for me, I guess, and I can already tell that I'm in way more into it now yeah. than I was back then. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a different reading experience. Good. For sure. So there you go. We're not doing a TBR for November. We are not, it's already, you know, into the month. Because it's so late. And, and also, we're being really, like, flaky with our books. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I do not have to I, As of right now, I'm able to read one physical book a month, it seems like. Mm -hmm. So, I'm being very picky and in the mood of, you know, right. choosing one. So, yes. I, I cannot commit to anything. We're hardcore mood readers this month. Yeah. yeah. And last month. My time has went downhill for reading, and so now I'm like, all right, it's like a game of Survivor with my books, and uh, I have to be very careful. <laughs> only the strong survive. Yeah, I have to be very careful of what I choose right now, because I only have a limited amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> right, I understand. So I'm done, I'm just going to read, uh, yeah, what I want to read. Cool. Because I, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll get back to TBRs when uh, we feel like we can do that again. Yeah, I I'm hoping to find a balance. And I've said that for two months now. <laughs> awesome. So. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. When you play the game of tomes. You read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye.
We did it. Yeah, we did. I had a lot of fun. Me too. For not filming for two weeks, like, yeah. this is what I needed. Like, this feels like, <sighs> you know, sometimes That's I can good. get, like, I've been feeling like all I'm doing is working and sleeping. Yes. And so, like, having this weekend to just... <sighs> that makes me happy. My life exists outside of work. Yeah. And to hang out with you again, because I've really missed you. I miss you, too. Yeah. And I love you. I love you, too. Okay, I'll talk. You look so good. <laughs> you really, really do. Well, I don't... I am... Um... I don't feel it yet. I feel like your face does, like, seem better. What, what do you mean, twitch it? I can see it. In here. Around your and my mouth, look at it. Yeah. Oh, I see it! Are you doing massages? Not really. You need to do them. Um, I know. Chewing gum? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. I still have some. Yeah. I'm just not doing it as much as I used to. Right. I just want to be able to smile and blink and squint. <laughs> That's not so much to ask for. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. Well, I'm super proud of you. Thanks. Okay. Lost. What felt like it all in a game. Every man I've measured out to hurt me before I could ever feel safe.